Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. and in today's video I want to talk to you about explorers, the extroverted perceiving types. Very few actually dig into what it means to be an explorer and I think that often when people look at these types I think they uh, tend to miss I interpret explorers by saying that explorers are open to new information and that they are often carefree types that just do whatever is fun in the moment. I would argue that explorers are rather more accurately driven by first and foremost acquiring information from the environment and then weighing and balancing this, this information to see if it makes sense. That is what being an extrovert and being a perceiving type ultimately means. Carefree types and types that are more relaxed and types that are more open to information have a certain mood or mindset that anyone can and should actually develop. Everyone should aim to develop a mindset that is open to new information, that changes with new perspective and that uh, is able to uh, be playful in the moment. That can all be a positive thing to have in certain moments. Now, with the explorer, what I want you to consider is that the explorer is first and foremost about acquiring information. And this means using that extroverted, uh, intuitive function to get a grasp of what's happening in the moment. Or using that extroverted sensing function. Uh, getting a grasp of new patterns, new developments, uh, changes, uh, new information, uh, that tennis ball that just came towards you, that uh, action that just happened, uh, what you're seeing in the moment. That's the core priority. And explorers are at their best when something is happening, when there is something to respond to, something that's going on that you can respond to in some way. And that responding thing is important for a perceiving type. Uh, that weighing and balancing what you just picked up, what you saw, and finding out if it's good or bad. That is a core component of being an explorer. Explorers are actually, and this is uh, something people don't really bring up, people that tend to bring up new patterns, not just crazy patterns, but also explorers tend to bring up patterns and warnings and issues and obstacles. They weigh them and they say, hey guys, I think we have a problem here. Hey, I think this might happen. Or what, if, what do we do if that happens? Explorers are people that take a lot of time into alerting people on potentially problematic patterns. Uh, alerting people on negative possibilities and as well as positive opportunities when you can find that. So often as a perceiving type, uh, for the explorer it's important to be able to balance an idea according to something. Often what explorers need is a criteria, a situation or a context to fit their ideas toward. If you just uh, if you didn't have that context, often it would be hard to judge the valid validity of any idea. Then the explorer would be in a situation where they had ideas, but where they couldn't decide on any of them. But when there is a clear context, and this is why judges are important, a clear context, a situation, a plan, a, uh, something to do, that's when explorers really shine. When they can balance and bounce and test how an idea sh or a goal should be implemented, that's when an explorer type is at their best. Often I think that explorers are discarded from group environments because they are seen as too flighty and unable to operate according to schedules and to come uh, to a meeting on time. But as um, I've noticed, explorers are highly important and valid team members because they provide an asset and that asset is updated information. If you're working towards a prob uh, project and the problem emerges and you miss this, that's when your project is going to be facing issues. Explorers are people that can, and can notice these issues before anyone else and can bring up these issues. And because of this, sometimes I think explorers can be seen as troublemakers. Sometimes there is that shoot the messenger thing when an explorer brings up a problem and when the people go, no, why do you say that? That's such bad news. Or uh, also, even when they bring up positive opportunities, there might be that, yeah, but we said we would do that, narrow-mindedness in the group that can sometimes uh, put the project off uh, its uh, potential. So it's important for explorers to be in environments that can be open to the patterns and the possibilities they pick up on, as well as the problems that they can spot. 
It's important for the explorer to be in the role where they can share information with other people and where they can be given information. It's important for an explorer to feel like they are given information. If they feel like they are excluded from information, if the people if people in the group or in the project don't share information with them, it's really hard for the explorer to move forward because the explorer is kind of like a platform player. They want to be able to jump from platform to platform. They decide to be mobile, to be in movement, in momentum so that they can go from that platform to that platform to that platform to that platform so that they can experience uh, that sense of progress that is important to being an extrovert. For the extrovert some form of tempo is necessary so sometimes uh, having to wait or postpone or take things slowly that can be difficult. It's often for the extrovert that they need tempo to feel like they are going forward and if they don't get tempo what tends to happen is they tend to become much more critical. Uh, if there is no tempo the explorer falls into that overthinking trap where suddenly they become much more negative about everything. They become negative about their present situation, negative about the past, negative about what's going on and that makes them often uh, find it uh, more difficult to uh, remain in the situation they are. Often that critical uh, negative perspective of the past uh, can trigger that reflex to move forward. At other times uh, I find that uh, people uh, don't understand how to motivate explorers. Uh, I think that stereotype of explorers being carefree or laid back or never completing a project comes from that misunderstanding of how you motivate an explorer and what the role of an explorer is to begin with. Explorers can work extremely hard if they have the right environmental circumstances. But often work environments to, of today can struggle to canalize uh, the potential of explorers. What explorers are and do best is of course uh, um, pick up on new information and uh, see how it works and see uh, different potential responses and to see what best course of action is. Always, what is the best potential current action at the moment? Uh, based on the information I've gotten right now, what action is the best one I could take? So often what you want to explore to do is you want to give them the freedom to explore different options and to keep the group alerted to potential options. You don't need to follow every option or every opportunity brought up with the explorer. You can say no to some of them, but uh, you will want to acknowledge at least some of them because uh, your goal... <laughs> You, what you want to do with your goal, with your project at work, is you will want to make sure that when new projects or new opportunities occur that require short, short detours, you'll want to try to integrate that with your goal, if you can. Because if there is a good opportunity out there on the way that can help advance your goal, you should be wanting to pick that up. You should only say no to that if the detour is far too long or can risk threatening the product in itself. But often there is a chance to build bridges here and it's a chance to get both the goal and the reward of the long-term destination as well as the reward of the side quests on the way there. Often the explorers are all about the side quests in the case of uh, uh, that's what motivates them. It's that uh, ability to explore side quests. Okay, we have to hit this final destination. Um, great, but uh, what makes an explorer motivated is not focused efforts towards that, but it's like when they're going towards that direction, noticing, oh, that person needs help, or oh, that's an interesting person we could talk to, to, our, to further our project. And it's about being able to bring that uh, person in, it's about being able to pick up that opportunity, that's what motivates an explorer type. Also, you'll find that if you fail to motivate the explorer, what will happen is their progress will be cut short. That's when you'll start noticing procrastination behavior and issues in a sense. Another issue of course is that if you narrow the explorer too much, if you control them too much, often the very excitement and enthusiasm they brought to the project will disappear in itself and that will greatly make your project lose its uh, tra uh, traction. Uh, it will make it uh, feel like 
you had so much steam in the beginning and of course if they could have kept that steam and if they could have kept that same trajectory as you had anticipated, sure, you would have gotten to goal very quickly. But that's not how it works. You need to refuel and restock on fuel uh, often if you want to keep, uh, <laughs> to keep your ship floating, if that metaphor makes sense. So I find explorers will and they are not completely doomed in the modern landscape. I've seen many successful uh, ENFPs and ENTPs and ESDPs in the corporate landscape. It's very possible to do great stuff there. What you need is an open-minded environment and a collaborative workspace and you want a space that shares information with you, that gives you the opportunity to explore new clients, new uh, customers, new uh, clientele and new opportunities. So if you don't feel that, you will want to just have a discussion with uh, your co-workers and your boss about your issues and how you feel like you can improve and how you can make sure that you can give the best uh, of yourself possible to your workplace. So I hope this video made it clear on what it means to be an explorer and I hope that it also makes you as an explorer feel better about who you are. Because we need explorers. This world need, needs explorers. Without them, what, what will happen? I don't know. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. And for now, bye.